Good morning, student. Come to our uh, Star Media Pores YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about structure of skeletal fiber. So this is uh, one of the very important uh, uh, topic uh, for uh, board exam as well as NEET exam. Today we will discuss about uh, structure of uh, muscle fiber. So thin elongated with tapering end muscle is called uh, muscle fiber and the muscle fiber has multiple uh, nucleus so oval like structure uh, inside the cell uh, many nucleus is there this is a very important uh, characterized features of muscle fiber and also contain plasma membrane here in the myofibrils, the plasma membrane otherwise called sarcolemma, the plasma membrane otherwise called sarcolemma and also cytoplasm is there, the cytoplasm in the myofibrils uh, called uh, sarcoplasm, this is uh, one of the difference the uh, traditional uh, uh, animal cell as well as uh, in the muscle fiber cells. And also inside the cell, they contain glycosomes and myoglobulin, sarcoplasmic reticulum. This and all very important uh, uh, content of the myo skeletal muscle fiber. And uh, in, uh, what is the myoglobulin? Myoglobulin, uh, globe-like uh, uh, structure is present inside the uh, sarcoplasm. Uh, that is uh, myo. Uh, globulin. Uh, globulin means uh, glucose, myo means muscle. Inside the uh, muscle, the glucose particle uh, stored uh, for uh, uh, various purpose. That is uh, myoglobulin is a respiratory pigment. Respiratory pigments means they contain oxygen. They contain oxygen like that of uh, hemoglobin. They serve as a respiratory uh, re reservoir of uh, oxygen. Reservoir means the uh, storage capacity or storage place uh, for oxygen inside the muscle fiber that is called uh, uh, my uh, myoglobulin. Myoglobulin that is one of the very important uh, organelles is present inside the muscle cell. Next one is glycosome. Glycosome is a uh, granules present in the uh, muscle fiber. Uh, this is uh, uh, storage of glucose. Whenever we are going to be work, the muscle uh, containing the glu uh, glycosomes, it is utilized for the giving the energy to work out. Uh, this is very important uh, glycosomes. And also, uh, very, very important uh, two protein is there. Uh, inside the muscle fiber. This is uh, one is uh, called actin, another one is myosin. Actin and myosin. See the picture actin and myosin. This is very important uh, protein present inside the um, muscle fiber. Inside the muscle fibers, uh, they have the rod like structure. They see that is uh, uh, myofibrils. The myofibrils uh, we will uh, see uh, dark band as well as uh, light band. Uh, it is alternatively arranged dark band and uh, light band. See the uh, picture in the uh, myofibril is there, uh, dark band is there, light band is there, dark band is there, light band is there. The dark band uh, otherwise called A band. A dark band otherwise called A band. Keep it in your mind. Very important one more question. And the dark band of myofibrils is called A band. It is otherwise called anisotropic band. Anisotropic means different material is made up of that band is appeared. So that is called anisotropic band. The next one is light band. Light band otherwise called I band. I means uh, it is a isotropic band. Isotropic means iso means same. The same material is going to be made up of that uh, area that is called uh, light band or otherwise called I band. Keep it in your mind. 
in the rod like structure they have the uh, dark band dark band otherwise called a band light band otherwise called i band keep it in your mind this arrangement is going to be given the appearance as striated appearance striated means a stripe we will see that a stripe is there one of the stripe is there so this is uh, called a striated muscles according to the presence of the a band as well as a i band the muscles appear as stripes that's why it's called a striped muscles otherwise called a striped muscles so uh, the, uh, what is the reason for this stripes means it, it presents the uh, actin and myosin uh, protein and also we can see that if you take a dark band if you take the dark band uh, they as a lighter region also the dark band itself they have the lighter uh, region uh, that uh, region is called as is a h zone the region is called a h zone uh, keep it in your mind a dark band is there between the dark band or one light band is there the light band is always called a h zone the h zone is going to be bisected by thick line uh, a thick line is going to be bisected the h line it is called a m line this is called a m line so again uh, we will go pass on that i band the i band is uh, consist of a uh, one dark line a, a zigzag line as yes, a dark line is there that is called a z line or z disc so uh, keep it in your mind one uh, rod like structure is there that rod, uh, rod like structure contain dark band light band dark band light band if you take the dark band the dark band itself they have uh, a middle of the dark band they have the uh, light region that is uh, uh, h zone um, and also the h zone is going to be bisected the thick line is called uh, uh, m line and uh, i band also uh, contain a uh, one line the i band is a lighter area but uh, even though it's lighter area they have z like structure zigzag z like structure uh, that uh, uh, structure is called uh, uh, z disc keep it in your mind myofibrils uh, also uh, contain the contractile elements is called a sarcomere keep it in mind a sarcomere is a structural and functional unit of the muscle fiber so it is a contractile area of the myofibrils so between the rod like structure the one segment is called sarcomere one segment is called sarcomere so the sarcomere is a functional unit of the muscle fiber keep it in your mind so the sarcomere is a uh, region of myofibrils at between two z line so already told uh, the rod like structure they have the a band and i band a band and i band the a band and between the a band and i band uh, uh, they are uh, between the z between the two z line uh, z area uh, between the area it's called uh, sarcomere in the sarcomere they have the two plament one is uh, thick plament another one is thin plament so thick and thin plament is there the thick plament otherwise called a myosin protein myosin plament the thin plament otherwise called a actin plament so in this uh, two plament is going to be uh, overlap one another so that is uh, very important and the uh, plaments between the um, two z area they have the a band pull the a band have only the thick line as well as a thin line is there and z line z line contain only the uh, actin filament only so uh, this is uh, the uh, sarcomere structure keep it in your mind so what are the a band what are the i band 
what are the Z uh, zone as well as the M line and uh, these and all must be keep it in our mind we will uh, meet again another one video thank you you have to subscribe our channel and keep on watching our channel thank you very much